Hello everyone, so welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is Casaligan Vlogs. And today we'll be talking about the expected value of discrete random distribution. So the expected value of discrete random distribution is the average value of x. It is also referred to as, as the mean of x or the expected the expectation. Okay. So the expected value of a discrete random variable is denoted by ex or the symbol mu. It could be mu or this one. Expected. It is defined as the sum of each value of x multiplied by the respected. Okay, x multiplied by the respected probabilities. Here, for example, this one, x times the probability, respected probabilities. The expected of discrete random variable is defined as the rule that is, is the summation of all x or the product of x multiplied by the respective probability here. And also the expected x squared is equal to the x squared times the respective probabilities. And take note that the game is considered fair if the cost if the cost to play the game is equal to the expected gain. And a fair is gain when the expected value is zero. And expected value of linear function can be calculated using the expectation. So take note of the expectation because this is part of the next video. And take note of this one, this is not equal when you're going to just square the expectation. And note that the expected value will not always assume a discrete value. Okay? So take note of all the definitions that I mentioned a while ago because this will be essential in determining the expected value of discrete random distributions. So let us have first the first example. Find expected value of random variable that has the following probability distribution. So the formula for this one is this, so the expected is equal to the submission of the product of x and the respective probability. Okay. So the expected here, or this will come, or the mu is equal to, so just multiply the x and the respective probability. So therefore, 1 times 2 pif, and they're going to add 2 times 110 plus 3 times 310 plus 4 times 1 over 10 plus 5 times 1 over 10. So if we're going to simplify, so this is 2 pif plus uh, 2 over 10 plus 9 over 10 plus 4 over 10 plus 5 over 10. If we're going to add this one, so this would become 2 and 2 pif. So therefore, this is the expected value of the, run, of the random variable that has following probability distribution. Right, so let's proceed to the second example. Find a known probability A and hence determine the expected value of random variable that has the following probability distribution. So this is the distribution. So we are going to find, take note that the distribution is sum up with 1 as following probability distribution, random variable. First is we are going to find the value for A. 0 0.2 plus 0 0.4 plus A plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 is equal to 1. So there is 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.1, 0 0.8 plus A is equal to 1 and A is equal to 1 minus 0 0.8. A is equal to 0 0.2. So therefore, we have now the value for our A, which is 0 0.2. So we can now find the expected value. So the expected value is just multiplying 
the x and respective probability. So therefore, this is 2 times 0 0.2 plus 4 times 0 0.4 plus 6 times, which is the result, 0 0.2 plus 8 times 0 0.1 plus 10 times 0 0.1. So this is 0 0.4 plus okay, 1.6 plus 1.2 plus 0 0.8 and plus 1. This, if we're going to total this 1, so the expected value is equal to 5. Okay, that's it. And we know the, the value for A and its expected value for the random variable in the following probability distribution. Okay, next is find the value of A and B of the following probability distribution when expected is 4.29. So first is we need to have equate this one. So we are going to equate so 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 plus a plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2 plus b plus 0 0.2 is equal to 1. So first is we need to find the value of a. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to find the value for a and b. So we, are, we know already that uh, the, the sum of all the probabilities is equal to 1. So in this case, we can find the first equation. So here, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 2, and 2. The result of this one is 0 0.9 plus A plus B is equal to 1. So A plus B is equal to 1 minus 0 0.9. So therefore, A plus B is equal to 0 0.1. So this is the first equation. And in order for us to find the second equation, we have to uh, use the expectation formula. So for the expected value is 0, 4.29, so therefore 4.29 is equal to, the expected is the probabilities times the x times the probability. So 1 times 0 0.1 plus 2 times 0 0.1 plus 3 times a plus 4 times 0 0.3 plus 5 times 0 0.2 plus 6 times b plus 7 times 0 0.2 okay then after which we are going to simplify this one so therefore 4.29 this is okay 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 plus 3a plus 1.2 plus 1 plus 6b plus 1.4 okay so if we're going to total this one so 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.21 and 1.4 so 4.29 is equal to 3.9 plus 3a and 6b Okay, so 4.29 minus 3.9 is equal to 3a plus 6b. Okay, so the second equation is 6, 3a plus 6b is equal to 4.29. Okay, 4.29 minus 3.9. For 4.29 minus 3.9 is 0.39. So the second equation now is 3a plus 6b is equal to 0.39. Okay. So this is the second equation. So Take note of the first and the second equation. So let's find the value for A and B. So here, 
A plus B is equal to 0 0.1 and 3A plus 6B is equal to 0 0.39. So we have to multiply it by T to elimination by using elimination and subtract. So this would become uh, 3A plus B, 3B is equal to 0 0.1. Okay, so 3B and this is minus 3A plus 6B is equal to uh, 0 0.3 and this is 0 0.3 and 0 0.39. So subtract, this is cancel and minus, this is negative 3B is equal to negative uh, 0 0.09 so our b is neg divided by negative 3b the answer is negative 0 0.09 over negative 3 b is equal to 0 0.03 so if we have now the value for b we could easily compute for the value for a for the first equation so a plus b is equal to 0 0.1 so a plus the b is 0 0.03 is equal to 1 so a is equal to 1 minus 0 0.03 so the answer is 0 0.07 so therefore the value for a is 0 0.07 and the value for b is 0 0.03 Okay, so let's proceed now with the next uh, problem. Nikki and Melanie devised a gambling game based on tossing three coins simultaneously. If three heads or three tails are obtained, the player will win. The player wins the uh, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Otherwise, the player loses five dollars. In order to make a profit, they charge each person uh, two dollars to play. Okay, so first is we have to, okay, we have to make it a table, okay, three heads or three tails. If this is the coin, if we're going to have this one back again, okay, head tail, okay, and this one is Three toses, three heads, three tossing three coins. Okay, it will result this one head, 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 tail, head, tail, head, head, tail, 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 head. Head, cause tail, head, tail, 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 head, and tail, tail, tail. So we will make use of a table here. Okay, if we're going to let x and the probability. Okay, zero tails. Or we can have this one as if three heads or three tails are obtained. If let us have first um, devising zero tails, um, uh, three heads or three tails are obtained. Or let us have three heads. Okay, three heads. So in this case, we have here. Three heads, a zero head is zero head is one over a. And if one head, if this is one head, the result is one head. So one, one, two, and 
one and three. So three over eight. If this is two heads, one, two, and three. So three, eight. And if that is three heads, that is equal to one over eight. Okay, so naked melody device a gambling game based on posing three coins simultaneously. If three heads or three tails are obtained, the player wins, otherwise the player loses five. In order to make a profit, they charge each person to play. Okay. Next is we need to have this. If zero... If three heads or three tails obtained, the player wins $20. Otherwise, the player loses five in order to make a profit to charge each person to play. So, if this one, so this is negative five and negative five dollar because it, if Three heads or three tails are obtained. Otherwise, the player loses five. So if they gain three heads, so therefore this is twenty dollar. Or if the three tails are obtaining three tails or otherwise, so we have twenty dollars. Okay. Now, a gambling two and three coins simultaneously. If three heads or three tails are obtained, the player wins $20. Otherwise, player loses five in order to make a profit to charge each person to play. And what is the expected? So, this is the gains. Okay. Okay. So, the gains now is if we're going to compute the expected here, Twenty times one a plus negative times three a plus negative five times three a plus twenty times one a is equal to twenty over eight minus fifteen over eight minus fifteen over eight plus twenty over eight. So this one is 10 over 8, or therefore we could have this one as no. the expected is $1.25. So what is the expected gain to the players? So $1.25. Do Nikki and Melly make a profit? Yes, because the player's expected gain is $1.25. However, each uh, game uh, uh, need to get or charge two dollars to play so in fact they lose us um, uh, 75 cents on here 75 C they lose the seven because they earn or uh, they charge two dollars and do Nikki Melanie and make a profit so the girls makes a profit, or Nikki and Melanie make a profit, which is 75c per game. Okay, yes, they are gaining 75c per game. Is the fair? Is this a fair game? No, because this is not a fair game because uh, the cost of the play of each game does not equal to the expected. If this this is a fair game, so the result is zero. Okay, so. Try this one at home and she plays a game based on two and three coins simultaneously. Then three tails, if then two tails, if then one tail. However, if then two tails, she must pay forty dollars. Okay, what is unexpected gain? Should she pay? And it's a fair game. So take note and try this one at home. Thank you for listening.